Another Porsche 911 Restamont? Yes, but this one's different. At first glance, you might think the Thornley Kellum 911 European RS is just another Porsche 911 Restamont, but there's a key factor that sets it apart. It's not built on the 964 platform. Instead, it's based on the pre-964 series 911s, a choice made for one simple but important reason. According to Simon Thornley, co-founder of Thornley Kellum, the older models have a body structure that's a substantial 660 pounds lighter. This reduced weight results in enhanced performance and sharper handling, giving the European RS a unique driving edge. Performance details. Inspired by two legendary models, the Carrera 2.7 RS and the 2011 GT3 RS 4.0. The Thornley Kellum 9 11 European RS offers a selection of three naturally aspirated, air-cooled flat-six engines. The entry-level option is a 3.8-liter engine with two valves per cylinder, producing around 385 horsepower. For those craving more power, there's a high-revving 3.6-liter, 24-valve engine that pushes to 10,000 RPM. Lastly, a 4.0-liter, 24-valve variant offers more torque and an impressive total of about 400 horsepower. The car we tested, one of only 25 bespoke 911 European RS models Thornley Kellum plans to produce, was equipped with a 3.8-liter 12-valve engine. This engine, built from a 993 series block, is meticulously hand-assembled and includes features like billet aluminum cylinder heads with an 11.8 to 1 compression ratio, forged mall pistons, bespoke camshafts, and a race-inspired fuel injection system. It delivers 385 horsepower at 7,700 RPM and 290 lbft of torque at 6,000 RPM, all of which is routed through a 993 six-speed manual transmission. Engineering Mastery The chassis itself undergoes a thorough transformation. Stripped down to bare metal, it's seam-welded for enhanced strength and rigidity. Custom hand-formed fenders extend the car's width by 8.6 inches, with the front and rear tracks increased by 4.4 inches and 8.4 inches, respectively. The doors and hood are crafted from lightweight aluminum, while the front and rear bumpers, along with the sleek rear spoiler, are made from carbon fiber composite material, a modern nod to the iconic ducktail spoiler of the Carrera 2.7 RS. Even the original glass side windows have been swapped out for polycarbonate versions to shave off additional weight, optimizing the car's overall performance. Beneath the surface, advanced suspension and steering. The suspension on the Thornley Kellum 9 11 European RS is all new and purpose-built for performance. Up front, a custom multi-link suspension is modeled after the geometry of today's 911 GT3, while the rear features lightweight aluminum trailing arms. The car is equipped with JRZ Motorsport adjustable coilover shocks paired with IBAC springs all around, with the option to upgrade to adaptive dampers. Both the front and rear anti-roll bars are adjustable, allowing for fine-tuned handling. Steering comes standard with a Quaif rack and pinion system, delivering a quick 2.5 turns lock-to-lock, -lock, faster than the original 911 setup. For those seeking modern convenience, electric power-assisted steering is also available. Wheel and brake upgrades. The 18-inch wheels, inspired by the classic Fuchs alloys iconic to 911s of the era, are custom-made by Fisk FFR using aircraft-grade aluminum alloy. Finished in matte nickel and black, these wheels come fitted with Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, size 245-40 in the front and 265-35 at the rear. For more aggressive performance, Michelin Cup 2 tires are also an option. Braking power is provided by vented and cross-drilled discs, with six-piston calipers up front and four-piston units at the rear. For even greater stopping power and reduced unsprung weight by 38 pounds, Carbon ceramic brakes are available as an optional upgrade. Interior craftsmanship. Inside the cockpit, you'll find one-piece carbon fiber Recaro seats, offering a perfect blend of support and lightweight design. The steering wheel is a timeless three-spoke Momo Prototipo Black Edition, enhancing the driver's connection with the car. Though the instruments retain the vintage Porsche look, 
They have been updated to function seamlessly with the car's new electrical system. The air conditioning system is not only efficient but also lightweight, tipping the scales at just 31 pounds and is operated by anodized CNC machine knobs. For those who want a touch of modern technology, a Porsche PCCM infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Bluetooth connectivity is available as an option. It's not cheap. Each Thornley Kellum 911 European RS takes about 6,000 man hours to construct, which immediately tells you one thing. They're not cheap cars. US customers who have ordered one won't get much change from $1 million though that price includes the donor car and most taxes. That's a lot of money. But the Thornley Kellum 9 11 European RS is a lot of Porsche, especially if you subscribe to the theory that less is more. With no power steering between your hands and the front tires, and no turbocharger between your right foot and the six throttle bodies, driving this light and lusty Porsche is like mainlining pure, unadulterated essence of 911. But is it worth it? Hop in and twist the key on the left-hand side of the dash, near the door, of course. The 3.8-liter flat-six fires and settles down to a clattery race face idle. The tall shifter, engineered to make the 993 transmission's linkages work smoothly, means the shift knob is within close reach. At your feet is an AP racing pedal box straight out of a competition car. Select first gear, feed in some revs, ease out the clutch, and the 911 European RS scoots away. Steering wheel squirming in your hands as the front tires track every crevice in the tarmac. The engine is smooth and tractable at low speeds, but it immediately feels sharper and more responsive the moment the attached needle swings past the 3000 RPM mark. Get serious with your right foot, and the engine zings all the way to the 8000 RPM redline with a guttural snarl that is the oral calling card of an air-cooled Porsche Flat 6. With 385 horsepower propelling a car that weighs less than 2,400 pounds, the 911 European RS possesses a crystalline crispness, a delicate directness that no modern 911 replicates. You can feel in it the razor-sharp throttle response at high RPM, how the front end reacts to the slightest steering inputs, the way you can caress the brakes on corner entry, and the way the chassis reacts to it all. It's like you've been hardwired into this Porsche 911, able to tell what's happening at all four contact patches as you dance the weight transfer tango that is the secret to hustling an old 911 through a corner. It's glorious how it came to be this way. Thornley Kellum's Porsche 911 European RS is the result of a bespoke 911 custom commissioned by Hal Walter, an Australian car enthusiast who spends a lot of time in Europe. The decision to turn it into a business venture came after the success of Thornley Kellum's Lancia Aurelia Outlaw, a limited run of B20 Aurelia coupes comprehensively reworked. Mods included chopping the roof by three inches to create an alphaholic style take on the classic 1950s era two-door. We decided we need to start creating and selling our own cars, not just restoring them, said Thornley, who has in the past had cars restored by Thornley Kellum displayed on the lawn at the Pebble Beach Concours. The 911 European RS will be joined by the Jaguar XK European GT.